Good day folks and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joan and today's video is going to be about a walkthrough through the appliance status in the security and SD1 in the, for the Cisco Meraki MX. We're going to go to the dashboard, we're going to go to that appliance status page and we're going to go item by item to explain in detail and descriptions about what it does and what is useful for you. This is a very good feature that Cisco Meraki has where you can have all the information in just one page with different tabs where it's going to show you more information in more detail regarding your device and even the clients that are connecting into it. And the last tab, which is the one that I like the most, is the tools. It means that you already have all the tools to troubleshoot any issue that you may encounter to fix it in the future. And even to understand what is the healthy environment that you have in your network on or even the problems that you might encounter as well. So let's go to the dashboard and let's try to see it. Today we're going to take a look to the IT Way network, specifically to the security and SD1 appliance status for this Cisco Meraki MX to go through the page and understand better all the elements that we have over there. So we go to security and SD1 appliance status. Here we're going to start from left to right, from top to the bottom. Here you can use and see the IT appliance, which is the name that I put for this MX. You can come here and change it easily. You're gonna have here the MAC address and the model of this MX, in this case, the 60ACW. This is the place where you can see the address. So if you wanna put a specific address to have that name here, you can have it and put it here. This one spare configuration is if you want to have a one spare with another MX, you can click here and add the information of all the one spare configuration and it's going to be done. So all of the MXs you're going to see in the same appliance status page. After that, we can go down and see the two public IP addresses of this MX. It means that this MX has two uplinks configured already. This host name is going to be the host name from this MX. It means that for you, if you want to resolve these public IP addresses, you can use the dynamic host name provided by Meraki. You can make some proper changes to this one, but at the end, it's going to have a dash and the dynamic of the MX. This is very useful if you want to change dynamically the IP address provided by the ISP. So you will have a way to how to reach out to this MX. The serial number of the MX you will find on this side. The tax, the tax is to assign a specific tax to the device and that way you can recognize or make changes in the organization overview option. Notes is to make specific notes that you want to add here for your own understanding in the future. The firmware is going to be up to date right now and you will see the firmware version of this MX. Always check on this because sometimes if you make changes on the dashboard and hasn't been applied to the MX, you will see it here. And this is your button to remove the appliance from this network. Going back up, we'll have the summary tab, uplink, DHCP, locations and tools tab. The summary tab going from top to bottom is going to be First is the image of the MX. It means that in this MX we have 12 ports. I'm going to show you in green the ports that are already connected. If you hover your mouse over one of the ports, you will see the port that is connected, the speed, and if it's full duplex or not. Going down is the live data. Here you're going to see all the current clients that are connected to your MX, as well as all the relevant information for you to see at a glance. Since this MX has the wireless capability, you will see the utilizations of all the current channels in the 2.4 and the 5 gig. In this instance, we're using channel 1 and it's 30% channel utilization. And in 5 gig, it's channel 44 and it's 5% channel utilization. Here you can see the historical data. This is the connectivity bar for this MX. In that way, we can see in which part of which date of time this MX was down or it has a number light, which is going to be 
an alert. Here we can see that there was a time when this device lost power and it was because of a reboot. You can change this from the last day, the last week, and even the last month. And at the end is the network usage. This is a live information across the whole day to see what has happened with the traffic and what is the peak of the bottom of the traffic throughout that day. If we move to the other tab, which is uplink, we're going to see all the uplink information for the two one connections that we have. We can see one one, which is going to be if it's dynamic or static, the status of that connection and all the IP addresses configuration as well with the one two. The cellular connection, if you have one SIM card inserted into this MX and the live data. Here you can see the traffic live while the second is passing and you can identify if there is a high traffic going through the MX or not. This graph is related to the 4G cellular statistics and we don't see anything since there is no SIM card installed. This part is very important, it's the connectivity measurements that the MX is going to do continuously. Here you have a drop down, it means that you can select several. If you go to security and SD1, SD1 traffic shaping, you can select a particular IP address that you want to test with, with the MX. In this case, all these connectivity tests are going to be with this public IP address. So you can see the latency that is happening throughout the time and the loss for the two one connections. Going back up, we have DHCP. If the MX has VLANs and those VLANs are configured with a DHCP server, you will see the subnets, the VLANs, all the used IP addresses and the percentage of that are free. This table is going to show you all the devices that acquired an IP address through this DHCP server. The subnet that is included, the VLAN and even when it's going to expire. Going to the next one is going to be the location. You can pinpoint a location that you want to save here just for your reference. In this case, this device is in the White House, which is great. In the tools, and this is the tab that I am most excited about, is all the troubleshooting tools that you need to create, to test, or even to troubleshoot any problem in your network. We're going to start with the pins. You can select the source IP address from any VLAN or from any internet to even any client on the LAN or any public IP address on the internet. We can make a test and pin that public IP address. So you're going to see all the average, average latency and the loss rate. Here, ping appliance, what it does is you, it's going to use the M tunnel from the security appliance to the Meraki to ensure that the Meraki dashboard is able to pin this appliance. The reboot the device is fairly explanatory. Blink LED, in this case, is if you don't know where the device is, it's fairly straightforward for you to find it if you blink the LEDs from the device. Dashboard throughput, this is something that is very important. This is to measure or to have a relevant information about what is the throughput that is acquiring from this security appliance to the dashboard. This is by no means measuring the throughput that you have in your ISP and keep that in mind. This information is just for us to understand that is enough bandwidth or enough throughput for the MX to reach out to the cloud. The trace route is the regular trace route that we are fairly used to. Show us all the path from this MX to the destination. MTR, the same situation that we had before is the same MTR tools that we have on other devices. It's going to show you all this information about the packets. It's going to be the lost and the last, the average, the best and the worst. The DNS lookup is very important for us to identify if any DNS server is replying or if we were getting any information afterwards.
at the end we have the arc table if you run it you will see all the mac addresses and ip addresses that we have in this arc table for this mx the same thing for the internet one and the internet two and at the end we have the test umbrella connectivity if you have umbrella integration and that's everything that you can see and identify in the appliance status page and so you were able to see this is a fairly easy going to the appliance status and it's going to show you a lot of information that is going to be very useful for your troubleshooting in the future you might have a problem or even understanding what is the status of your device what is the throughput that you might encounter and even if the, you are having pins successfully through the internet or any internal LAN devices that you might have if you encounter any issues or you have any questions that I was not covered here put your comments below I'm more than happy to help you to achieve those answers and in addition to this, I'm going to put some specific documentation that is coming from the Cisco Meraki portal to help you as well. So that's how you see it in the blind status in the Meraki way. See you in the next one.